but today I'm reviewing the TMNT Mutant Mayhem Pizza Fire Van, on time delivery guaranteed, with pizza launching action. So yeah, this is uh, the vehicle, the main giant vehicle that um, was made for the movie. And the box is very good, I like it. Um, you know, checking hazard and what it has. And it says, figure sold separately, it all assembly required, requires three AA batteries, not included. Four, not, nope. alright. On the side, it has a, do I have to adjust my camera here? Give me a second. Uh, launch up to eight fresh pizza pies. And, yep, you can launch pies. You can launch some pizza. Uh, I'll show the other side. It says, on the top, it says, fits all your turtle figures. We'll have to test this. Uh, has another image on this side. The top, by the way, is just literally the same as the front. And here is the back of the uh, box, in case y'all wanted to see it. Uh, so, fits all your troll figures, and it says everything it has, and how to activate the pizza launcher. A pizza fire van. These turtles deliver justice and pizzas. On time, guaranteed. Get all the turtles assembled and load them in their new pizza van. With the van's mobile pizza launcher, they combine turtle power and pizza power to blast the baddies into submission. So, basically showing off all the features, and then on the bottom, it has um, what it includes, copyright information, and this. This is a, this is an actual cross sell, I believe, of what the figures look like. Well, yeah, it is. So I'm imagining this is probably what they wanted to use on the back of the box, but I think they just want artwork because it looks better. I guess I don't know. Um, and it advertises two other vehicles: Battle Cycle and the Ninja Kick Cycle. I'm not gonna pick those up, honestly. Although this actually looks tempting. This looks tempting. I might pick this up. But other than that, I'll uh, open this up and I'll show you what's inside at the box. And <laughs> it's a lot. So you get the wheels, you get the stickers, you get the roof rack, and you get a bag of pieces. And then of course the body of the van itself. Um, I'm going to assemble all of this and I will see you guys in a second. And it is fully assembled and is ready to be reviewed. So right off the bat, give me a second here. There go. Um, very nice, very hefty, very sturdy toy. Uh, plastic is a little eh, but it's to be expected. A lot of turtle vans in the past couple of years, like the one I had, I haven't built one of these in, since 2016. Uh, it's a little malleable, malleable. You know what I mean? Kind of, kind of squishy plastic. Um, like here, this door is warped. Um, stickers are—they were easy to put on. A couple stickers probably aren't going to be perfect, but hey, it's how it's how I put it together. I put it together how I did. You know, whatever. Um, but overall, I think I did do a pretty good job, and this is easy to do. I'll go over some individual features here in a moment. Um. But, yeah, I've made sure to put these stickers down good. Uh, oh, I meant to the pizza on top. Can. Um, but, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully these stickers stay in place. If not, I guess you could put, like, Mod Podge on them or something. Um, so overall, the van is very nice. I like it. It looks to be maybe a later Volkswagen van. Van, I mean. Uh, very definitely taking some inspiration from the original Party Wagon by having... Uh, this kind of grill face, I call it. And it has a thing on the front that says turtle power. And this is actually the wheels. These are the literal tires. They actually have this printed on here. You can kind of see right here. They have them printed on here. But it's just that uh, they're not painted. So you won't be able to see it. Uh, you have a sticker here with Mikey. I know people have been talking about this. They don't like it. Uh, it's fine. Uh, pizza time. Sticker on the back. Again, I'm sorry I didn't put these on straight or anything, you know, if you're weird about that, I don't care. I did it how I did it. I tried to be as precise as possible, but it's human nature to make mistakes. People are just going to have to accept that. Uh, one of the things, though, this door in particular is a little on the loosey-goosey side. When you put it in, you kind of have to manipulate the sides and then 
put in this top peg or put the top peg in and then encase the sides but we're good on that end um so yeah i'll show you some of the features real quick here we are at the front of the uh vehicle and i have the door open so we can put two turbos inside now the box shows raf and donnie in the front but when i put my turtles in i do leo and donnie because it makes more sense to me personally i'll cut and i'll show show them in there but, but i finally got them in the seat so, one thing I need to point out, there is a peg on both sides of the turtles, or the seats, where they're sitting. There's one for Leo, one for Donnie. The unfortunate thing is, if you jostle the van around too much, I can imagine a kid doing this, they will eventually just gonna come off of the peg and start wobbling around. Donnie was a pain in the butt to put into the driver's seat. Because I was going to, obviously, you can see I have him holding the steering wheel. And I ended up just taking him off of his peg and just letting the natural weight rest down on it. I'm probably going to, you know, leave it like that. And I mean, the door itself, I mean, it shuts nice enough to where you can, you know, You know, where you can just put their heads wherever you want to look as straightforward as you want. And of course, Leo just came off the peg. I'll show you another feature here in a second. The back of the vehicle. And pretty self explanatory. So for one, you can open up the door, obviously. And you can fit figures inside. I'll take Raphael here as an example. But unlike the two turtles that are sitting in the front, there really isn't a way to peg them in. So they'll flail around. You could make them hold onto the window, but who is going to do that? Most people, like me, are probably gonna do this instead. You'll notice there's handles. And right here, there's a footstep. You can kind of see this one right here. You can hang figures off of the van. Pretty cool, right? So, we'll take Raphael here. And, well, I'll put him in. But, and here is Raph on the back of the van, getting ready to attack. Now, you can also put them up here, or any turtle of your choice, up here on the hold bar. But I can imagine a lot of people would probably just do this instead. And there's one more... Well, really, two more features. So there's two more features I would like to show off. First is this. This pizza. I'll have to uh, fiddle with this real quick. This pizza activates the main gimmick of the van. There we go. Now, we have a pizza launcher, but it also has a seat, and we're missing one turtle, Mikey. I'll cut here and I'll put him in the seat and then I'll show you the other cool people. So I've got Mikey in the seat, and yes, the figure can fit inside while he's in the seat. And you can actually see him from inside. And again, if I finagle with the door a tiny bit and the wheel. That's one of the things that I mentioned. Not around too much. And, uh oh, spaghetti -os. your turtle is falling out of the seat. Why is this seat falling off? I might have to end up gluing these in. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Push this open once, and it does that, and then you can shoot out. But the other thing I was trying to show was you shut it, and. No. <laughs> Sorry. You can straight up just straight launch it out of here and poor Raphael's foot came undone on this. Oops. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah. 
So, what is this? Well, if you'll notice in the top, there are um, discs inside. Pizza discs, to be precise. So this is the party wagon from the original line, combined with the pizza thrower from the original line. And, well, to really demonstrate this in the best way possible, why don't we go to the floor? Let me try again. Oh, why not be turned right when you use it? There we go. So all that out of the way. Is this worth $40? I'd say yes, but for two different parties. If you're a kid and you already have all four turtles and some bad guys and whatever, then yes. If you're a parent buying this for a kid, yes. This is definitely worth 40 bucks. For a collector, I'd say it's up to you. I simply purchased this because I had heard so much about it, I decided to go on and pick it up. And yes, while I have my fun with it, I also have my few problems with it. But overall, I'd still say this is a genuinely somewhat quality product, even if the plastic is a little mushy and the pizza thrower doesn't exactly work like you would expect it to. But other than that, I'd totally say this is worth your time. This is definitely going to be how I'm displaying my figures. We had them before simple poses. This is how I'm technically going to have them. And one more thing I do want to show off before we go. It claims to fit all turtle figures. So for a final test, I have weapons in the back, first off. Uh, just... I'll just put these... Probably just put these in the bags with the characters. It says it can fit multiple turtles. So I'm going to see if it can fit both these turtles and the party pack turtles. I'm going to go on and just get the weapons out of here. Okay. So let's start putting them in. We have, oh, maybe, Cowboy Leo. Astronaut Raph. Uh, let's throw Beach Bum Mikey in here. And finally, Donnie has a uh, spot. Move. Uh-oh. Uh, looks like Leo fell. So, yeah, that's the one big thing I don't like about this, where as the front has all the pegs for your figures to stand up and stay that way throughout the entire ride or whatever. The back doesn't, and... The guitar is proven to be a little too, uh, whatever for Beach Bum Mikey. There we go. So yes, it can actually fit more turtle figures. And yes, I have Raph on the roof. I could technically have him at the side, but I think either way, he'd still get blocked by the door. Probably, and plus, I mean, come on. You gotta admit, that looks cool that he's riding on top of the roof. Uh, these figures would probably get put somewhere else, though. I just wanted to see if it fit. And it does fit the battle cycle. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.